Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and today it's time for another standardized walking radio receiver wrench test. Previously, previously in the same conditions, the same spot, the same walking route, I tested the Immersion RC Ghost, then I tested the FR, no, Flysky FRM 302 and today, today I have the brand new the TBS Tracer, the link that is probably based on the Semtech chip, the same as the FRM 302 and the Immersion RC Ghost. However, TBS and the Trappy especially states all the time that this is not LoRa. And okay, let's believe him that this is not LoRa, but please do remember switching from not LoRa to LoRa if they are really using this chip is really super simple in the firmware. Next firmware might enable LoRa modem and you can not do anything about it. So today, today we are just taking, oh, the camera, the camera lost track. Today let's just have a walk with the maximum distance of 100, uh, no, around one kilometer, although with a small forest in between. And already, while being 220 meters with just a teeny tiny hinge of the of the forest between the me and the transmitter configured for auto power from max to 100, uh, 100 milliwatts, the receiver, well, it's not 100% stable link because the link quality varies from the around 70 to 90 with the RSSI at, let's say, 50, but in, the, in case of the tracer, RSSI goes from low values to the high values. So, in this very moment, the wrench seems like it's slightly, slightly worse than it was in case of the of the Ghost and the FRM302. Please do remember that uh, right now we have much less leaves on the trees, so this kind of helps. On the other hand, the weather is kind of super sucky this weekend and there's a lot of mist and it's really hard to tell how this affects everything. So far, however, there are no micro fail safe and the link is basically holding, although not with the perfect link quality. So, uh, let's, let me just walk for now. Right? Right. And now, a hundred meters further down the road, in probably one of the worst places for the link right now, the tracer is slowly giving up. Uh, right now the link is erratic, it goes into micro save, fail safe all the time, from sometimes there are even kind of longer fail safe lasting even a few seconds. I'm not sure if you can see anything over there on the LCD screen, but uh, I would have to say that in this very moment the tracer is absolutely not flyable. It's in the state of the constant fail right now. Okay, right now officially is in the state of the constant failsafe with both RSSI and link quality at absolutely zero. Please do remember that in this very spot the Ghost had a pretty nice reception with the link quality above 17 or something like that and the FRM302 had slightly worse parameter however both the links were basically working. You were able to fly. With the Tracer Unfortunately, no, this is not the case and the link is just, it's just not working. So, um, the proof, um, basically, yes, the tracer is not using LoRa because if it was using LoRa, it probably would have a valid, uh, valid link over here, but it doesn't. So, yeah, Trappy was absolutely 100% correct. Um, it's not LoRa and that means that the sensitivity of the receiver, one of the most important aspects of the range of the radio link, is much uh, inferior comparing to the LoRa and that means that we have no link. Now I will just continue walking that direction and go into the small hill when I will have something like the line of sight with approximately 800 meters from the transmitter and then we will see, we will monitor situation if it will anyhow improve.
and now here 834 meters from the transmitter verdict is actually quite simple um, yes looks like tracer indeed is not using a LoRa and is paying a price yes the tracer is much faster uh, it has faster update rate it has more bandwidth for the telemetry and has a working fully working telemetry with everything however the price to pay in case of the tracer is that comparing to the immersion rc ghost and the flysky frm 302 is it offers much less of the range and the penetration right now at this 830 meters yes the link quality is uh, around uh, 80 90 and it's working pretty nicely rssi is more or less in the half of the of the scale however when i was walking into this very spot which is direct line of sight with the transmitter without any problem uh, the the link was just not working in the places where the ghost still offered a fully working link the tracer fully gave up and uh, offered absolutely no reception then it got slightly better i was able to catch the signal from the transmitter for a second or two then it was fading away again and uh, comparing to what ghost and frm 302 offered it was just much 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 less so the verdict is the verdict is that if you are looking for something that's that offers you a super fast uh, link with the 300 250 what's the update rate right now on the tracer then yes uh, for, for purely pure, poorly purely for racing then yeah go with tracer uh, because why not if however you expect something that one day will give you slightly further than uh, than this then no i really don't think so but this is also something i mentioned before because the hardware probably this really looks like the semtech sx uh, 1280 or 1281 uh, in the update with the firmware they can just enable the lora modem and start switching from flrc to the lora modem and then the range will be probably as good as in case of the ghost however for now for now traces loses in terms of the range uh, wins in terms of the update frequency but do you really need that high of the update frequency i know that mr still says that yeah you does but i probably i'm too old to really appreciate something like that so um, and that probably ends up the standardized walking range test number one i'm not really sure if it makes sense for me to make the second part of the range test when i will take my car and go uh, around three kilometers in that direction to check the reception because i honestly doubt that it will work because the ghost was eh, uh, okay okay frm was no 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 reception at all and if this is actually worse penetration and worse range in really like not line of sight but behind some obstacles then i really doubt it will it will it will have the wrench over there but maybe i will i mean, maybe i won't right now it's really starting to rain and the whole weekend will be fully shitty so if i will be bored then i will go there if not then then we will see okay so um that was the result of the standardized walking wrench test of the team black ship tracer worse than the ghost definitely worse than the ghost next uh, next probably i will take r9 with me on the same walk and let's see how this thing will compare over there but for now it's the all so thank you very much for watching and until the next one bye bye hey.